Greetings everyone, Slurgical here, and here's the progress of my modular game board that I've been working on. The board is 3 feet by 3 feet and fully modular, so you can lay it out whatever you want, however you want, by connecting each pieces together with clips. Here's a, just a fly over on uh, how I laid it out just for this presentation. Uh, some of those pieces are familiar to you and some of them are not. At the time of recording this video, not all the pieces of terrain are available at uh, my digital store, but most of them are. For example, this I'm currently working on. Those are the prototype and they've been working so far, so I'll be uh, releasing the files very soon. These are already the walls that have been released quite a while ago. I still have to do a lot of painting, and uh, once I'm done this board, I will have it available for sale locally. At one point in the future, I will be sorting out on how to do ch shipping and all that stuff. But for now, I just want to focus on designing, learning uh, painting past the uh, Neanderthal level. I also will be doing in here some furniture and different levels. Each part of this building is modular, so you can stack them up. You can have it 10 high, you can have it 3 high. So it's not limited to just one piece. I still have to paint the details like the control panels and the hoses and all those things on the terrain. Uh, but I just want to first paint all the walls all the same colors and once I run out of paint, well, I'll go and do the details. The alien trees and uh, the terrain that goes with it is part of a collaboration with another YouTuber. If you watch my other video, you'll see uh, Mellow Miniatures and a link is uh, available below to his channel. Also, a really exciting thing is happening. Uh, my buddy, another YouTuber, Ninetale Hobbies, he has an amazing channel. Go and check him out. He has a booth in a convention coming up and he's using my terrain to promote his uh, amazing painting skills and his uh, miniatures. He has been a great help for me with giving me advices on Wargamer wants, which is great because I'm new to Wargaming. My background in tabletop gaming comes from role playing. So I need environment details, places with you can go inside and outside and all that stuff. So under his advice, I'm going to be converting a lot of those terrains for wargaming. So that means the inside are going to be completely empty, no details whatsoever. The walls will be thinner and all the de details will be on the outside. So it's faster, cheaper to print since no need to go inside of the buildings. Once all that is done, I'll be selling all those buildings and that terrain for Wargamer as a package, since Wargaming has different needs than skirmish, role-playing, or scenario-based gaming. I don't remember if I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm putting down a link, Nine Tail Hobbies. Go and check it out. As I will be continuing uh, painting this terrain, next week I'll be releasing the terrain for the command center. There'll be different levels, there will be the main level entrance, and that one is just going to be there on that main level. It's not interchangeable with other levels. Uh, the other levels, there will be a simple room, a server room. There's a lounge with the balconies and there's a rooftop. The rooftop has a dual purpose. It's an ob observation deck and that's how I'm going to call that uh, file. So the observation deck can fit in between different uh, levels and can also be on top. So you can have two, three rooms of uh, living quarters and then an observation deck, then one lounge, a couple more of uh, rooms, a server or uh, more quarters, and then the rooftop slash observation deck. Oh yeah, and a fun part, underneath the landing platform, there's space so you can have the miniature going underneath or hiding there. 